Because we care about the issues. We want to be out building with our community. We want to create sol solutions. We want to resist the injustices that we're dealing with. Uh, very few people join this movement because they want to be asking people for money. Um, but the reality is that this is an essential part of our ability to do this work. Asking is the hardest part of fundraising. It, it is literally like 30 to 60 seconds of people's time that we have to convey the story um, of why we need the support. Dealing with money is hard. Um, it's intimidating for a lot of folks, especially a lot of us of color. It can be just emotionally draining. You don't have a lot of power. You feel like your livelihood depends on a decision that someone else has that you have no control over. And uh, it's easy to feel isolated, to feel like you're not good at it, to feel like you're a disappointment, and to feel like you're failing your community. I think this kind of space creates is first of all recognition that like a lot of people feel that way, you're not alone. Uh, it's not your fault actually that this system is set up in this way and that there's things we can do by building together, building community, building strategies, actually gaining skills that can move us from this place of scarcity and anxiety about asking the money instead to be in a place where we're again um, engaging people with capital from a position of power and partnership. What I've learned in having conversations with funders um, is they're just like we are. Their stories might be a little different, but they're human, they're people, um, and they have emotion. Say, hey, here I am. This is what I believe in, and this is why you should support it. You know, you want to be a part of this because this is, this is going to change your life too. Being vulnerable in those cases and really reflecting the picture of what our communities actually look like and what is involved in um, securing liberation for all communities is a necessity. There's always more work to do, right? So you never raise all the money you need to raise and you say, that's it, it's done, we did it. I think one thing that I knew is that black people need resources um, and a sense of sustainability and security in order to do this work and put their full selves in this work. We shouldn't be scraping and fighting for resources and we also shouldn't be competing against each other for resources. We have to be able to create sources of financial stability uh, within our members um, and within our infrastructure. We have many resources in our community even if you define us to be low income or poor. How do we think about the power that we already have? How do we also engage with the small businesses in our own community? How do we think about creating new cooperatives, creating our own housing, uh, owning real estate through land trust together? These are also strategies that not only help advance our missions for things like affordable housing or good jobs, but also could be a revenue base then to fund community organizing in the future. How can we run our own businesses and then also fund our own movement? Being part of GIFT has changed my life. I found my home here with all of just these folks from all over the country, from all over the movement. And it, it inspired me to want to show up too in the work that I do. And what I've been just seeing is the amazing leaders um, from across the country who've come here to share their wisdom, their learnings, their skills. And uh, we need this space really to um, uphold our right to exist as a movement. You need to come uh, next year because you are gonna meet people here who uh, are gonna be your allies in this work. You're gonna meet people here who are gonna be your supporters, who are gonna inspire you. You're gonna meet sheroes and heroes here. So don't miss out you know, on this opportunity to make, make friends, make allies, and make the people who are gonna help you uh, be successful, be successful in your work, and, and make sure the movement is successful, because we don't do this alone. We don't do this alone. We do this in community, we do this with other people.